Hey, I'm Adrian. Welcome to this week's episode. It has been rumoured this week the PS4 version of The Last of Us may come out at a discounted price point for those who already own the PS3 version of the game. This remastered version will include the campaign which will receive a gra graphical 1080p update along with all the DLC for the game. Rumours came about after a member of Naughty Dog responded to a comment about the newly released details for the latest DLC. We're looking into the business model for all this and we'll post about this once we have input from all regions. This quote left fans of the series with hope that they would be able to acquire the remastered version for a discounted price point. The Last of Us Remastered is, is set for release onto PS4 during some time this summer. Two Silent Hill games heading to PS Vita. Konami has revealed this week the two games from the popular survival horror series Silent Hill will be released on the PS Vita in the near future for £7.99 at a yet undisclosed date. Silent Hill Origins, which was first released onto the PSP in 2007 and ported to the PS2 in 2008, is one of the games getting a revival onto the Vita. The other title seeing a comeback is Silent Hill Shattered Memories. Sony Pictures may be making a move to secure domain names in preparation for a Bioshock movie. Three domains were registered early this week, Bioshockmovie.com, Bioshockmovie.net and Bioshock.net. This move to claim domains isn't the only thing which has been circulating recently for the Bioshock movie, with, with IGN reporting that Courtney Draper, who voices Elizabeth in the most recent game, has been talking to Ken Levine, the creative director at Irrational Games, about taking up the same role in a possible cinematic adaptation. When asked about this latest move to secure domain names, Bioshock publisher 2K came back with no comment. However, we suspect that this is not the last you will hear of this story. Microsoft defends the Xbox One interface in response to a thread on popular forum website Reddit stating that there is not enough game demos on Xbox One. Microsoft have assured players that the console will be getting new features. Microsoft's Larry Herb said you have to remember that Xbox 360 is a very mature platform that has been around for almost 10 years. In that time we added a ton of new features. Xbox One is a completely new architecture so we can't just take work that was done on the Xbox 360 and plop it into the code base of Xbox One. Things don't work that way. A new installment of the lore-based franchise Ace Attorney has been announced for 3DS. According to leaked pages, the game will be set in the Meiji era of Japan, the protagonist being Phoenix Wright's ancestor, Naruhudo Ryonosuke. A release date has not yet been disclosed. Thanks for watching this week's episode. Are you looking to get The Last of Us on PS4? Are you hoping a Bioshock movie gets made? Are you dying to get your hands on a new Phoenix Wright game for 3DS? Let us know in the comments. If you didn't catch our last video, you can find it here. Our Facebook and Twitter are in the description below. And don't forget to like, comment and subscribe.